Hey y'all, I'm in the kitchen with my favorite youngest son. <laughs> that, was, that was a slick way that of saying. very diplomatic. You sound yes. like my father-in-law, Juan, who tells me that I'm his favorite son-in-law. Oh, and that's because you're the only son-in-law. Well, right. And I'm also your only youngest son. All right, this is confusing. <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, Bobby Bobby popped in on me earlier, y'all. And it just so happens that I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas cookies. Perfect timing for me. So, as soon as Bobby walked in the door, I said, oh, yay, would you help me? So, he has been helping. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The recipe that I'm fixing to share with y'all brings back a lot of memories concerning you and your brother, Jamie. Yep, a little different, uh, but... Yeah, I... I made these two brothers chocolate gobs was what I ended up calling them. God, that's so good. Uh-huh, and I'd wrap them in saran wrap individual, mm -hmm. and it'd make like 36. It made a lot. And I put Still them in the crisper. The crisper bin yes. down in the bottom of the refrigerator. And you and all we'd your snotty nose friends. And we'd raid that crisper drawer, uh -huh. and we would eat those. What did, what did you call them? We didn't call them whoopie pies. That's what they call uh -huh. them. Like no, the Two Brothers Chocolate Gobs. You call them gobstops? Cho not gobstops. Chocolate Gobs. Chocolate Gobs. Yeah. And, and when I like put them the in the cookbook. softest, <laughs> most gooey, delicious chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. Just filled <laughs> with delicious, sweet. Like fluffy. Cream. Fluffy. <laughs> God, yes. if I had known what I was eating then, I would not have touched it. But they were so good. <laughs> Used well, to see, eat them you, by were, the you were young bowl. and you didn't know that that was going to be become one of your sins. They're just the best. All right, <laughs> yes. so let's. let's All right, what are we so doing? Uh, I'm not making the two brothers chocolate gobs, but I am making our cousin Johnny Gabriel's uh, red velvet whoopie pies. Okay. Now, let me tell y'all a little bit about my cousin Johnny. She is the proprietor owner of Gabriel's Bakery in Marietta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. She is a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Slap cadet. You know, Johnny just got married in the last year. Oh. Remarried, yes. And I, she sent me pictures and Bobby, she was gorgeous. Yeah, she's pretty lady. Gorgeous. Very talented too. She's so, got a great cake place. Up oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Bakery like no other. Her cakes are out of this world. Um, so. Where do we start? We're going to make her chocolate whoopie pie. Now, we're going to start. Let's start. Hmm. As one yes. would have it, there's a recipe. Yes, yes. Right here. We go. Oh, and this is Cousin Johnny's recipe. Yes, oh yes. Gosh. Yes, that's we're what in, we're, we're, we're in using. We're for a treat. Because Cousin Johnny makes her live in making these cakes, you understand? Yes, She yes, gets paid yes, for them, so yes. this should be quite delicious. All right, All right so, so I don't believe. Three cups. Uh-huh. Plus five tablespoons of mm -hmm. all-purpose mm -hmm. flour. You know what, though, this recipe is a little confusing, mm. so I'm going to uh, ask Teresa to do this a little different way mm. for y'all, you know, when you go on the website and go into that link. When they see the recipe. Be a yes. Better. Okay. And I think I Put probably some... should have added, was that... Uh, that was bacon powder or bacon soda? I yeah, don't bacon know. soda. Mm -hmm. I thought it looked like soda. Mm -hmm. And a That's little cocoa, mm -hmm. because um, red velvet cake has that little bit of chocolate. Mm -hmm. You know how that little bit of chocolate flavor comes mm -hmm. in? I do. Do you want me to add your oil? All right. Well, let's do the sugar okay. first. All right. all right, here, you do that, and I'll okay. crack the eggs and all that good stuff, and then I'll add the oil for you. And you know, it's the 12 days of Christmas cookies, and yeah. I think I may have some ready in the oven from something else. Mm -hmm. We were making some great cookies just a few minutes yes. ago. Yes. You know, Jamie and I. All right, so let me add your. Oil? Yeah, that'll make it a little easier. Yes. Father, why don't you give a, a quick read of some of the ingredients that we've already Quick added. read of some of the ingredients <laughs> that we've already added. Three cups of uh, uh, all-purpose flour, um, a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, and uh, one and mm. a half cups of uh, can canola oil. I'll do it. Okay, Plus a little, uh, we haven't added the vinegar yet, but we're about to add uh, some vinegar. 
Janie and I went up to Maine. My brother and I had a, a television show back in 2006 called Road Tasted. Where we traveled uh, all over the country, uh, and we really did. We went from Seattle uh, to Maine to Texas to California and just everywhere in between. And uh, we saw just so much and so met so many nice people and we did lots and lots of recipes and one of them was um, how much is the vinegar how whoopie much pies vinegar? one Thank teaspoon you. of white vinegar okay and one of them was uh whoopie pies up in maine really mm -hmm. in maine whoopie pies are a big deal apparently new england yes in new england okay yes. yeah eddie's from new really? hampshire so he knows he yes. knows what i'm talking about new speaking of new england no part of the country up there so beautiful. You know, I would love to get in the car, son, and um, visit all those New, Eng New England states. Mm -hmm. um, all right, now, Bobby, what I'm fixing to add now to make this a red velvet, mm -hmm. uh, you want to be careful because... A little bit goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Yeah. And look, I just picked up a jar that uh, a little keg that I already had, and it colored me all over. Mm -hmm. All right, so come over here, son. I think okay. I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna yeah. have to turn right. to the mixer to get this mixed up right. We've certainly got our whisk all clogged up. I know. <laughs> just dig it out. Oops. I'm sorry I didn't think about passing you the mixer quicker. All right. Can all be worked out and fixed. <laughs> take a little time. Well, speaking of driving all those states and visiting, uh -huh. my, my wife Patty and I went up to uh, Vermont a couple of years ago before our kids were Did born. Did you go to Ben and Jerry's? No, we didn't do that. Isn't um, that the Stay home or Ben and Jerry? No, not, not purposely because we didn't want to go. I just we didn't, we didn't see it. But, yeah. Um, we, uh, All right, Bobby, stand back, son. <laughs> Cost a whole... A little bit goes a long oh, way. Wow. Well, if we used any less, it'd be pink whoopee yeah, pies. So. Yeah. <laughs> You want to take your spatula and go around the edge? So we went to... Uh, but again, now, don't splash that on you. We went to... Um, Just loosen it from the edges so I can keep beating it. We went to to, uh, to Vermont and we flew into Burlington and rented a car. Mm -hmm. And we drove... You know, Vermont's not that big a state. No, it's a small state. And we drove from Burlington all the way up to the top and back mm -hmm. down. And we just... Uh, we went to... Different little How many miles did y'all drive? I don't remember. The whole it's, it's not that big a state, you know, so you know, yeah. it would be the equivalent of driving from Savannah to maybe Atlanta uh -huh. or Rome, Georgia. You know, maybe five hours in the car, maybe four or five hours in the car to get We hadn't added our vanilla to this. No, not yet. Okay. Um, Just maybe like a cat full of sun. So it ain't. There's your cat. We drove uh, from Burlington up to the top of uh, Vermont. We drove up to Woodstock, Vermont, is where we went. And we is that a... like Woodstock, where Woodstock happened? Yes. Is it? Yes. No, Woodstock was in New York, I thought. No, I think it was, I think it was Vermont. In Woodstock, Vermont? Yeah, I think so. I don't think you're right. I don't think you're right. <laughs> but I didn't say, I just asked. There is a town uh, called Woodstock in Vermont. Yeah. So we stayed there, and uh, we just... We, it was just, it's, it's such a beautiful state. We mm -hmm. um, we stopped and, and- I just, just like the way it sounds, Vermont. Well, you know, I always sounds wanted to like go there. Movie. I always wanted to go there because uh, I'm a big uh, Ray Charles fan, right? And I just love music in general. And Ray Charles- But he's from Albany, Georgia. <laughs> there's a beautiful song called Moonlight in Vermont that- oh that I'm sure other people did, but Ray Charles sang it beautifully, and it was such a romantic song. And I always wanted to, because of that song, I always wanted to visit Vermont. So we did it, and uh, am I glad that we did? 
Well, and, that uh, was wonderful. I remember y'all doing that. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did. All of New England, though, is just so beautiful. The, the mm. um, just clean, you know, like the highways, everything yeah. is just clean. All right, Bobby, how long does Cousin Johnny say to make these? Cousin Johnny says how 20 big? minutes. Okay, but how big does she suggest you uh, make it? Sift three cups, five cups. Okay. It'll be on the back, I think. When she tells yeah, us. Yeah, beat, buttermilk, turn over, drop the batter by teaspoons. Teaspoons, okay. Allowing so she, one inch in between drops. So she makes as hers. As the cookies will spread, you'll be making 48 cookies. Bake until the cookies are firm but not crisp, okay. about 12 minutes. Okay, Sonny Boy. All right, so that's me. All right, one oh. teaspoon. Yeah. Okay, now it's important that every cookie for whoopie pies be the same because these are gonna be made into sandwiches. So you can't have a whoopie pie this big and then one this big and put them together. Well, this might be a so, good time for a break. Okay. Yes, and- um, Not doing it right? Perfect. We're gonna That's break away. That's got many a task. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen here today making these mm. uh, 12, 12 days of Christmas. 12 days, 12 days of Christmas. I'm gonna Christmas just let you sit in it. I know, you ain't helping me, you little butthole. Spit on my mouth. I spit on your mouth? Sure did. Well, that's cause these pretty teeth of mine must be getting loose. Yeah, they might be. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll need to check back. Wow. You, you hadn't seen, you hadn't seen, seen them. No, you haven't seen our newest bowl? No, I'm joking, but that is super nice looking. I mean, isn't it good looking? I love it. This is your line? I love Melamine or Melmac. What We used to call it Melmac when you were a baby. Mm. But yes, this is my newest design. Mm -hmm. And I That's do good. love it. Uh, you can't break it's it. Pretty. It's got that rubber yeah. bottom so it will stance. It's like a football helmet. Yes, well, <laughs> wait to see. Yeah. <laughs> Should I go run into the wall? <laughs> see if I can... Crack something. <laughs> Let me see. Is your head clean? Clean as anybody else's, I guess. <laughs> it's fresh showered. Oh, good. Okay, that's all I need to know. All right, so Bobby's going to have to leave. He's got another appointment to go to. Another appointment? Yes, I know. You're not an appointment. You're this is so, not an appointment. You're so important yeah, that you got appointments. That's all right, so we're gonna go ahead and make the filling real quick to these whoopie pies, mm -hmm. cause I have a feeling you're not gonna be here to stuff them with me. No, I'm not gonna be, no. All right, so we are gonna take um, Why so a butter? half a cup, that's not butter. Mm. This is solid shortening and it's oh. butter flavored. Oh. Uh, because to make the insides of any kind of whoopie pie, mm. you might have to have that. Mm. All right, so Bobby, if you would well, start creaming. Like if you would start creaming that, please, son. It's an awful short cord you got on your neck. I know. It is. But it's about like the leash that Claudia keeps me on. That's <laughs> <laughs> a short He's time. kidding. He's kidding, Claudia. Are you a husband? Certainly am. Well, a good that, one. That's, that's, that's the way we do it. Fine one. That's the way I you gotta keep you gotta keep the good ones close to the house, don't yeah. you? So they don't get away from you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cousin Johnny makes her really funny. How'd they come out? Beautiful. Right? Oh my gosh, those are beautiful. Yeah, these are small multi pies. Yeah. Those are those are um bite size. Yeah. There are two bite multi. So y'all can see why I said it's very, very important that they're all the same size, mm -hmm. right? Yes, ma'am. I think that's pretty right. well creamed. Yes, yes, yes. All right, now let's cream oh, our sugar. Let's okay. put our sugar in. All at once? Is there a technique to this? Or no, just you go? can go ahead and put it all in. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm you doing it. I'm doing that. I'm doing yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
All right? What's next? Okay, you can kind of slow down on your speed, son. All right, so. Stop. <laughs> I slowed way down. You did slow <laughs> way down. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our flour into our saucepan and we're gonna slowly, slowly add the milk, you know, so it won't lump. Mm -hmm. What kind of milk are you using? Just a regular uh, whole milk, sweet milk. Do I need to still go slow? Or? Yeah, just give me a chance, yeah, to get it incorporated. Cause you, you wanna make sure you do this nice and slow mm -hmm. so your flour won't be in clumps. Cause nobody wants to bite into a whoopee. A clumpy, I started to say pie. a whoopee cushion. <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants to bite into those either. <laughs> A whoopie pie. Nobody wants a clumpy whoopie. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you just want to do that slow so you can. You ready for some more? Yes. All right. Now I think you might be safe to go ahead and put it all in, son. Okay. All so right. We're going to turn that on. And if you would stir that, please, okay. until it's thick. And we probably need about three minutes cooking that because this is going to act as the paste between our whoopie pies. Would you look in that oven and see if we have any more cookies in there? I can't remember. Nope. All okay, done. Good. All, all done. done. Listen, speaking of all done, mm -hmm. that's what his babies say, y'all. If they don't want to do something. <laughs> all done. No. <laughs> oh, they're so cute when they do that. They're really cute. So I'm using... They're going to be so cute later on when they're big. I know it. <laughs> When they tell no. all done, Papa. All done. They call Bobby Papa. Uh, so we're gonna let this cook for about oh, three that's, minutes. Wow, that's happening pretty quick. Oh yeah. So darn flour and a little bit of milk. So we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes. Bobby, you feel free to pick that uh, thing up and and whisk away. Picking it up. Whisk. Yeah, keep it on the fire though, yeah. Um so we're gonna have to cook, let this cool completely on because we are gonna be adding it to our sugar, butter, and uh, solid shortening. So if we mix it while it's hot, it would just melt on that. So what I'm gonna do is stick it in the refrigerator and um, encourage it to cool a little bit quicker. And Bobby won't be here. No, I gotta go. But that's so, right. but listen, son. Listen. Turn it off. Okay, I'll turn it off. All done. All done. All done. <laughs> All right. So, Bobby. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna get these frosted. You will not be here. You can deliver them to my house. I was at say. your house. Oh, I'm so happy. Bobby has a guest house fully furnished and lets me and Michael hang our hat there. Ooh, it's so nice. We all live together like a big old happy family. And yes, and Sunday, it was just so wonderful. You've got the most beautiful yard of mm -hmm. all of us. And that's where everybody's got to stay. Outside, okay. in the yard. <laughs> None of y'all coming in my house. <laughs> y'all, he's kidding. He's well, I'm kidding, funny. but right now, nobody's yeah. coming in my house right yeah. now. Huh? Yeah. But um, it's a good thing that the yard is beautiful. I know. Everybody does. And the I weather's know. nice. Everybody, everybody loves to be in your yard. Don't yes. they? And near me. And then I, you're almost getting as obnoxious as my favorite older, oldest son. I just realized that I was being very obnoxious. Sorry about that. Yes, you are. But that's what family's for. Uh -huh. All right, I got to go. So Kick me, Bruce. I'll come just... back. 
<laughs> I'll come back and make some more cookies because we got 12 days of Christmas going on. Yeah. We made two together yeah. today, and yeah. I'll come back and I'll make some more with you. So. Okay, that would be great. I'll see y'all next time. We're making all those wonderful memories for a minute. Yeah. Okay. But so as long you you have my permission to leave, Thanks. as long as you let your babies have one of our whoopie pies. Oh, 100 percent. Okay. Bye, everybody. And Love their you, face mama. will be bright red. Bye, mama. Bye, son. See you. Right. I'll see Bye, you buddy. at our house. Yeah, you will. <laughs> at my house. Well, I'm thinking about selling. <laughs> okay. Share the profit so, if there are any. So if you if you Bye. roll up to your house and see if it's sell sign, it's just your mama. No good. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye, squirt tail. Bye. Oh, he's a mess. He makes me laugh. All right. So, you know, this is not much. But right now it's piping hot. So I'm putting it in the refrigerator to um, make it cool a little bit faster. And then we're gonna stuff our little miniature whoopie pies. Okay, y'all, I'm still working on that 12 uh, days of Christmas cookies. And you know what? I should be making some dog cookies, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I've only made them for two-legged people. I need to make some for four-legged people. Uh, so we are gonna finish up the fluff for the uh, red velvet whoopie pies mm, from my cousin, Johnny Gabriel. Uh, her bakery, Gabriel, Gabriel's in Atlanta is so good. Okay, so I touched my fur babies. So let me go over here and wash my hands. Let me wash my hands. And then try to keep my hands off my fur babies while I'm cooking. <laughs> Okie doke. So remember we uh, cooked our flour and our milk together and we put it in the refrigerator to uh, mm, let it thicken and cool, to let it cool, it was thick. Uh, it actually takes about three minutes total for uh, this to get to the stage that you need it. And like I said, this is what's gonna make our insides real fluffy. So we had already beat up our butter, our solid shortening, and uh, our sugar. Remember we had confection sugar in it and I'm gonna add about another teaspoon of vanilla. Cause I do love the flavor that vanilla gives your sweets, your cookies and your cakes. So I'm just gonna beat this together until it's all incorporated. Wait, I think that's what I thought. Beaters backwards. No, no. <laughs> I just didn't have it in there good. <laughs> okay, I thought it felt loose when I picked it up. All right, that's as high as it goes. Like I said, I just want this to be as fluffy and airy as I can make it. You know, if you truly drop your batter by the teaspoonful, it's going to make a ton of whoopie pies. Normally, um, I would probably uh, drop a level cadence from this batter down because when I make whoopie pies, when I used to make them for my children and they were little boys, uh, I would make them a little bit bigger for you. Because my, my recipe, I seems like I would call it making like 36.
Okay, well. That should be good enough. Now I need a knife. How about a spoon? <laughs> How about a spoon? That'll work too. I'll be so glad when we have uh, all of my kitchen stuff back in this house. You know, we've got just enough to get by. So after we get moved in, uh, I'll soon have my entire kitchen back. So you just put how much filling you want in there and you just put it together like a sandwich. Oh, Perfect. Johnny. Perfect. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And you see why I said it's so important that your cookies be the same size. And of course, they're going to vary just a little bit. But, uh... but even still, you can match them up pretty good. Ooh -hoo! Don't those look delicious, Eddie? Perfect, yes. Nice little snack. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yes, and it's, they're not so, so big that It'll ruin your appetite. <laughs> or a perfect little after supper. A little bite of something sweet. The older I get, I just love having a bite of something sweet after a meal. And usually it's ice cream. In fact, I find myself eating ice cream every night, which is not, not good. Oh, it's good, all right. It tastes real good, but, so that's it. That is it. I'm gonna come over here, y'all, and uh, I'll add these to the tray. Got Meemaw's kitchen sink cookies that I did on another video. And now I've got the whoopie pies. And I'm gonna be making some more real good stuff, y'all. So you stick with me for 12 days now, cause it's all so good and so sweet. <laughs> so that, that gets it. Thank you, Cousin Johnny, for being you. I love you, girl. Merry Christmas. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.